guys, my name is Nazutul Aznira Binti Azman and the video that you watched just now is my hometown Pengkalan Balak Melaka. Pengkalan Balak Beach is one of the holiday destination in Malaysia, especially if you love beach or just relax with your family or go fishing, it's a perfect destination. But in today's video, I'm not going to talk about that. Instead, I'm going to talk about this. This is the disaster happened under the water of Malacca Street Ocean which connect with Pengkalan Balak Beach. Trash can travel miles away all over the globe through our ocean. So, this video is not just for my villagers but for all people around the world. Marine pollution is a growing problem in today's world. Our ocean is being flooded with two main types of pollution which is chemicals and trash. Chemical contamination or nutrient pollution is concerning for health, environmental and economic reasons. This type of pollution occurs when human activities, notably the use of fertilizer on farms, lead to the runoff of chemicals into waterways that ultimately flow into the ocean. The increased concentration of chemicals such as nitrogen and phosphorus in the coastal ocean promotes the growth of algal blooms which can be toxic to wildlife and harmful to the humans. The negative effects on health and the environment caused by algal blooms hurt local fishing and tourism industries. Marine trash encompasses all manufactured products, most of them plastic. Littering, storm winds and poor waste management all contribute to the accumulation of these debris, which 80% of them comes from land. Common types of marine debris include various plastic items like shopping bags and beverages bottles along with cigarette butts, bottle caps, food wrappers and fishing gear. Plastic waste is particularly problematic as a pollutant because it is so long-lasting. Plastic items can take hundreds of years to decompose. Plastic trash poses dangers to the marine life. Fish can become tangled and injured in the debris and some animals mistake items like plastic bags for food and eat them like this sea turtle. Small organisms feed on tiny bits of broken down plastic called microplastic and absorb the chemicals from the plastic into their tissues. Microplastics are less than 5 mm or 0.2 inches in diameter and have been detected in a range of marine species including plankton and whales. When small organisms that consume microplastics are eaten by larger animals, the toxic chemicals then become part of their tissues. In this way, the microplastic pollution migrates up the food chain, eventually becoming part of the food that humans eat. There is two ideas in terms of engineering solution. The first one, I introduce to you an invention called Waste Shark. Designed by Richard Hardiman and Ren Marine and already in use in the port of Rotterdam, Waste Shark is a small robotic device that swims close to the shore catching rubbish before it can make its way out to the sea. Available in both slim and fat boy versions, each device has a mouth that extends a foot below the water and can catch up to 1,100 pounds of waste before returning to the land to be emptied. The second idea is by inventing more product by using plastic waste. In the past decade, lots of companies have developed a new product by using recycled plastic such as Adidas. Adidas use recycled plastic from the ocean to form the upper parts of their shoes and clothing like jerseys. Each item in the Parley collection is made from at least 75% intercepted marine trash and they still meet the same performance and comfort standards for Adidas other shoes. Other than Adidas, lots of company brands also interested to inventing their own product by using recycled plastic such as Petit Pli with their reusable face masks that made by 80% from recycled plastic bottle. And the last one is this cool invention called Oho. 
A hoe is an edible water blob that can be consumed on a daily basis to replace plastic bottles. It is a gelatinous sphere and it is safe to consume. But it can also be composted because it is created from brown algae. The edible water bottle is one of the smartest eco-friendly alternative to plastic ever invented. Next is ideas in terms of non-engineering solution. The ideas for marine pollution in terms of non-engineering solution include prevention and cleanup. Disposal and single-use plastic is abundantly used in today's society, from shopping bags to shipping packaging to plastic bottles. Changing society's approach to plastic use will be a long and economically challenging process. Cleanup in contrast may be impossible for some items. Many types of debris, including some plastic, do not float, so they are lost deep in the ocean. Plastics that do float tend to collect in large patches in ocean gyres. So, the perfect way to minimize waste going into the ocean is don't create any waste. Yes, zero waste is the solution. Instead of using plastic bag or your typical so-called biodegradable plastic bag, why not just bring a non-woven bag or cotton bag that you can reuse when you're doing your shopping? And instead of using plastic bottle as packaging, why don't use an edible water bottle like this invention called a hoe? And the last one is, instead of using lots of plastic for packaging food, herb, soap, or flour, why don't we create a supermarket with zero plastic packaging like this one shop called The Hive Bug Food located in Bangsa, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Customers are encouraged to bring their own containers to fill with food and shower products like shampoo and conditioner. Most of the products are organic and bought from local producers in Kuala Lumpur. So, in addition, to being plastic free, each product sold at the hive has a very low carbon footprint. The easiest way to clean up the waste in the ocean is by prevent it to get into the ocean at the first place. Before you throw your waste into the ocean, think twice because those plastic might end up in your stomach one day in the form of microplastic. Just like us, our marine life also don't like eating plastic because it is not tasty at all. The ideas of saving our marine life and ocean is everyone's responsibility. So let's together we save our ocean.